This demonstration helps understand the process of integrating a payment gateway into your reseller account and how it can be used by your customers and sub-resellers for making online payments to you. A payment gateway allows the secure transfer of credit card funds from users on your website to your merchant account. Merchant accounts are not bank accounts per se, but accounts that allow credit and debit card payments and chargebacks to be made to a merchant nominated bank account. So when your customer pays you through your website, the funds are redirected to your merchant account via the payment gateway that you have integrated. Let's now have a look at how you can integrate a payment gateway into your reseller account. The system gives you the flexibility to integrate any payment gateway of your choice to accept payments from your customers and sub resellers. We have also gone a step further and pre integrated nine of the most popular payment gateways into the system. PayPal, to checkout, authorize.net, and money bookers are just examples of some of the pre integrated gateways. All you need to do is configure it to your merchant account. Alternatively, you also have the freedom to integrate any other custom payment gateway of your choice. We will now run you through the steps that you need to follow to add a pre-integrated payment gateway. For this, you would first need to log in to your reseller control panel. Once you log in, you go to Settings, Finance and Billing, Payment Gateway, List or Add. On this page, you will see a list of payment gateways that have been pre-integrated. Let's say you want to add a PayPal payment gateway to your account. You click on the Add a PayPal Standard Checkout Gateway link. The next step is to fill this form that you see on your screen. You start with Gateway Name. The gateway name is the name that you want to give to this particular payment gateway. This name will also be shown to your customers or sub resellers as a payment option when they are about to make a payment. You can use something like use PayPal or just simply PayPal. Any other name that you deem fit is also usable. PayPal username. Here mention the PayPal username that you have set within your PayPal business or premier accounts profile. Once again, it is important to note that this is your PayPal account username and not your reseller account username. Currency. PayPal allows you to charge your customers or sub resellers in 16 different currencies. For this demonstration, let's use US dollars as the currency. Currency exchange rate. If the currency you've selected in the previous option varies from your primary selling currency, the system needs to convert the invoice value to the PayPal currency before your customer or sub reseller is sent to PayPal to make the payment. For this, the system needs an exchange rate between the two currencies. You may choose to maintain this exchange rate yourself or let us maintain it for you. We download Forex rates on a daily basis from a recognized source and update exchange rates for you. However, if you wish to update the rates yourself, then you may do so by selecting the I would like to maintain the currency exchange rate myself option and enter your own conversion rates. You will then have to update this conversion rate manually as and when it changes. Please note that in this example, the I would like to maintain the currency exchange rate myself option is grayed out since the selling currency of the reseller account and the chosen PayPal currency are the same. Payment gateway access level for customers and sub resellers. As you can see in the next option, you have the ability to specify separate access levels for your customers and sub resellers. The first row specifies the access level to the gateway for your customers. And the second row specifies the access level to the gateway for your sub resellers. Both the rows contain the exact same options and are mutually independent and exclusive. Next, you need to decide whether a sub reseller or customer is credited with the gross amount or net amount as PayPal deducts a fee per transaction. There are two types of transactions that can pass through your PayPal integration. Invoice debit note payment and add funds. In case of an add funds transaction, you have the option of crediting your customers or sub resellers with the net amount that PayPal credits you with. 
or choose to credit them with the gross funds and bear the charges yourself. In this example, since we are allowing resellers to only add funds using the PayPal payment gateway, we also opt in for the credit a sub reseller with the net amount in an ads funds transaction option. Manually review and approve any unverified PayPal transaction. PayPal has two types of users, verified and unverified. If you wish to manually verify all transactions which originate from unverified PayPal users, you would have to select this box. If this box is checked, then all PayPal transactions that originate from unverified PayPal users will be kept pending for review and you will have to manually approve or cancel them by going to Customers, Billing, Payment Gateway Transactions or by going to Sub Resellers, Billing, Payment Gateway Transactions from your Reseller Control Panel. Send me a reminder if a transaction is pending for more than X days. In case you have not yet accepted a payment sent to you via the PayPal payment gateway, you can choose to get email reminders sent across to you after the specified number of days. Display position. If you plan on adding multiple gateways, you can select the position where you wish to display this gateway on your payment page. Once you have entered the relevant details, you need to click on the submit button to complete the integration successfully. Once you have completed the payment gateway integration form, the next step would be to reload the SuperSide cache. This can be done by going to Tools, Reload SuperSide and PartnerSide cache, All SuperSide and PartnerSide settings. This ensures that your payment gateway is now successfully integrated with your SuperSide and the changes will start reflecting immediately. Now that we have integrated the payment gateway, let us assume that a prospect comes to your super site and wants to purchase a couple of domains. Once the domains have been selected along with the time period, the next page will look like this. On agreeing to the no spam policy, the customer clicks on proceed to payment from where he is taken to the checkout page of the super site. Here, a summary of all the orders will be displayed along with the payment option. The customer now chooses the online payment option and selects the newly integrated payment gateway, in this case PayPal, and clicks on continue. The following page will ask him to fill in the PayPal details and here he selects review order and continue to proceed. We have just demonstrated how you may integrate a payment gateway with your reseller account to accept online payments from your customers and sub resellers. For further information and assistance, you may refer to our knowledge base or to the various demos that we have compiled for you. Thank you.